Have you ever wondered who catalyzed the abolition of sati and the upliftment of women in India's 19th century society? In the annals of Indian history, a few names shine brightly, their contributions forever transforming the societal landscape. One such luminary is Raja Ram Mohan Roy. Born into a time when the subcontinent was riddled with social evils and oppressive traditions, Roy was a beacon of change. His impact was profound, reaching far beyond his immediate surroundings and echoing throughout the centuries. This episode is dedicated to understanding the magnitude of his influence, particularly his relentless efforts to eradicate the brutal practice of sati. Sati, a ritual where a widow was expected to immolate herself on her husband's funeral pyre, was deeply entrenched in the society of Roy's time. It was a gruesome testament to the disregard for women's lives and their subservient status. But Roy, with his progressive mindset, was appalled by this inhuman practice. With an unwavering resolve, he campaigned vehemently against Sati. His eloquent and powerful arguments, drawn from rationality and humanitarianism, struck a chord with the British authorities. His persistent advocacy led to the historic decree banning Sati in 1829, a landmark moment in the annals of women's rights in India. But Roy's influence wasn't limited to the abolition of Sati. He was a stalwart advocate for women's education and rights. He believed that a society could progress only when its women were educated and empowered. To this end, he established several schools for girls, challenging the prevailing norms that kept women shackled in ignorance. Moreover, he championed widow remarriage, a concept considered taboo in his time. He argued that widows had the right to live their lives with dignity and respect without being ostracized or condemned to a life of mourning. This transformative figure was none other than Raja Ram Mohan Roy, a trailblazer who took the first steps towards a modern, inclusive India. His legacy continues to inspire us today, reminding us of our collective responsibility to challenge injustice and strive for a more equitable society. Born on May 22, 1772, Raja Ram Mohan Roy was a man ahead of his time. His birthplace, Radhanagar, located in the lush and culturally rich region of Bengal, was more than just a geographical location. It was a melting pot of diverse cultures, faiths and philosophies, all of which played a significant role in shaping the young Raja Ram Mohan Roy. His early years were steeped in a unique blend of religious influences. His family, deeply rooted in Hindu traditions, provided him with his first exposure to religious teachings. However, his father's role as a high-ranking official in the Mughal court introduced him to Islam, while his early interactions with missionaries gave him insights into Christianity. This early exposure to multiple religions was instrumental in fostering his broad-minded perspective on faith and spirituality. Education was an integral part of Raja Ram Mohan Roy's upbringing. His learning journey began at a Pathshala, a traditional Indian school, where he was introduced to the ancient scriptures and the intricacies of the Sanskrit language. He then turned his attention to Persian and Arabic, the languages of the court, and his proficiency in these languages opened up a world of Persian literature and Islamic law. But his quest for knowledge did not stop at the borders of his native land. Raja Ram Mohan Roy was a man of the world and he eagerly embraced the opportunity to learn English, a language that was gaining prominence due to the increasing British influence in India. This allowed him to connect with a wider audience and propagate his ideas for social reform. This diverse education, coupled with his exposure to a multitude of cultures and ideologies, equipped Raja Ram Mohan Roy with a unique perspective. He was not a man bound by the constraints of his time, but rather a visionary who saw the world through a lens of progress and change. Roy's multicultural education and exposure to diverse ideologies shaped his progressive thinking and laid the foundation for his future reforms. Raja Ram Mohan Roy's journey as a reformer began with a deep dissatisfaction with the prevailing social and religious norms. His journey was not a sudden leap into the realm of reform, but rather a gradual awakening to the injustices that suffocated the society around him. He saw the world through a unique lens of empathy and understanding, which propelled him to question and challenge the status quo. Roy was deeply troubled by the societal norms that suppressed women. He was particularly moved by the plight of widows, who were often subjected to the horrifying practice of sati. 
a ritual where a widow was expected to self-immolate on her husband's funeral pyre. This inhumane tradition was not only a gross violation of human rights, but also a stark symbol of the deeply entrenched patriarchal norms. His dissatisfaction with these practices led him on a quest to reform the existing norms. He began by challenging the religious dogmas that justified such practices. He believed that no religion could endorse such cruelty and began to advocate for a reinterpretation of religious texts. Roy was not just a critic, but also a visionary. He understood that true reform could not be achieved through criticism alone. He proposed alternatives, championed the cause of women's rights, and advocated for their education. His ideas were revolutionary for his time, and he faced immense backlash. But Roy was not deterred. His unwavering conviction and relentless pursuit of justice made him a formidable force against the oppressive norms. He used his influence, intellect, and indomitable spirit to lobby with the British authorities. His tireless efforts bore fruit when in 1829, the British government banned the practice of sati, marking a significant milestone in the fight against women's oppression in India. His restlessness sparked a revolutionary reform movement that would forever change the face of Indian society. His legacy continues to inspire reformers around the world, reminding us that change begins with one voice, one idea, and one relentless pursuit of justice. Raja Ram Mohan Roy was not just a thinker, but a doer who brought about tangible changes in society. His most significant reform was arguably the abolition of sati, a cruel practice where a widow was expected to immolate herself on her husband's funeral pyre. Roy, moved by the horrifying plight of these women, waged a relentless battle against it. His powerful advocacy, combined with his ability to influence British rulers, led to the banning of sati in 1829. But Roy did not stop there. He recognized that the liberation of women required more than just the removal of such barbaric customs. He championed the cause of women's education, believing that an educated woman could contribute significantly to society. He argued against child marriage and stood for the rights of widows, leading to the promotion of widow remarriage. Roy was a visionary who understood that societal change required a shift in religious thought. He founded the Brahmo Samaj, a socio-religious reform movement in 1828. The Brahmo Samaj aimed to purify Hinduism by discarding irrational rituals and superstitions, promoting monotheism and encouraging a rational approach to religion. It was instrumental in initiating socio-religious reform movements in India, becoming a platform for progressive thinkers and reformers. Roy's impact extended beyond social and religious reforms. He was a staunch advocate for freedom of the press, believing that it was vital for the growth of a democratic society. He also campaigned for modern education, emphasizing the importance of science, technology, and English language learning. Through his relentless efforts, Roy challenged the status quo, questioning age-old customs and beliefs that had held society captive. His reforms were instrumental in setting the stage for a more inclusive and egalitarian society. They propelled India onto a path of progress and modernity, a path that continues to be tread upon even today. Roy's reforms marked a significant turning point in Indian society, setting the stage for a more inclusive and egalitarian society. His legacy serves as a beacon, illuminating the path towards a progressive and enlightened society. More than two centuries later, Raja Ram Mohan Roy's legacy continues to be relevant and impactful. Raja Ram Mohan Roy, a pioneer in his own right, left an indelible mark on the Indian society. His influence has carved a path for contemporary social reform movements, propelling India towards a more inclusive society. Today, we find traces of Roy's spirit in every corner of the nation. His ideology of rational thinking and his fight against social evils have encouraged generations to question regressive practices and challenge the status quo. His emphasis on education, particularly for women, has been a guiding light for India's journey towards gender equality. Roy's advocacy for freedom of the press has shaped India's media landscape, fostering a culture of free speech and critical discourse. His belief in the separation of religion and state has also been instrumental in shaping India's secular identity. The Brahmo Samaj, founded by Roy, continues to propagate his principles of monotheism and morality. It stands as a testament to his revolutionary thinking, promoting religious tolerance and social justice. 
Furthermore, Roy's fight against sati, a cruel and inhumane practice, has been a cornerstone in India's battle against gender-based violence. His success in abolishing sati set a precedent for future social reformers, empowering them to challenge societal norms and fight for human rights. But perhaps the most enduring aspect of Roy's legacy is the spirit of reform and progress that he embodied. He was a man ahead of his time, a visionary who dared to question and challenge. His life and work have inspired countless individuals to strive for a better society, to question the unjust, and to persist in the face of adversity. Today, as we navigate through the complexities of the 21st century, his teachings continue to guide us, reminding us of the power of reason, the importance of education, and the courage to stand against injustice. As we remember Raja Ramohan Roy, we are reminded of the power of one individual to bring about profound change and to shape the destiny of a nation.